It's amazing how just a few pieces of carbon fiber can drastically improve the look of your car. When you first get them on, you can't take your eyes off of them. But if you don't protect them, they can quickly lose their shine and look like this. Sore spots that you'll avoid looking at entirely. To prevent this, we need some ceramic coat, but first we need to prep the carbon fiber. Starting with the strip wash. This will remove any contaminants like dirt, dust, and salts, as well as any paint finishes like waxes. In order for the best possible bond between the ceramic coat and carbon fiber, we want that ceramic coat applied directly to the clear coat of the carbon fiber, and this soap will help us do that. Since this is a brand new piece, we'll only be doing one wash followed by a rinse before we move on to our chemical decontamination step, which uses an iron remover and clay mitt. The iron remover will be used in place of a clay lubricant, but if this is a piece that has already been subjected to the elements, you'll want to spray on the iron remover first and allow it to sit for a couple of minutes without drying before rinsing it off followed by the clay bar step which you could still use the iron remover as the clay lubricant or dedicated spray so long as it won't leave behind any waxes or paint protection. Ceramic coating is kind of like painting, where the longevity of the end product is mostly based on how well you prep the surface. So if you think your parts need it, feel free to repeat any of these steps because after the clay mitt, the piece needs to be dried off with a microfiber towel. No need for a polishing step if you do this to brand new carbon fiber. In this case, it required about three towels to get it completely dry, and I even let it sit for an hour before applying the IPA prep spray. This isopropyl alcohol mix will get rid of any leftover oil or finishes that were left behind, as well as polishing compounds if you did that step. Now for the main attraction. In your box, you should get a plastic card, the ceramic coat in a glass bottle, a microfiber towel, a foam block with a hard and soft side, a pair of gloves, three micro suede applicators, and stickers. Take one of your applicators and place it on the soft side of the block, and with the card, tuck in the sides. Apply your ceramic coat to the applicator and work it in on the carbon fiber in a crosshatch pattern. Try to do this in small segments and stick to the crosshatch pattern as best you can to ensure full coverage. But with a piece like this, it can be difficult to get in those tight corners. Don't worry about those for now, just get what you can and we'll address those areas at the end. Also be mindful that a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. Two bottles was more than enough for me to apply two coats to the entire car, these carbon fiber pieces, all four wheels and brake calipers. You should be able to see the coating on the top of your carbon fiber as it's being applied, as well as feel a moderately smooth motion. Too smooth or running ceramic coat is too much, while a rough, grabby motion with no visible top layer is a sign that you need to add a few more drops, but not as much as your first application. Once we span the entire piece, the micro suede should be saturated with the ceramic coating so we can remove it from the block and use it directly to attack those tight spaces from earlier. As for pieces that go on top of painted surfaces and are held in by double-sided tape, I prefer to coat them once they're installed along with the respective panel. This way the piece and surrounding area get full coverage without compromising the double-sided tape. For carbon fiber pieces like the diffuser and exhaust tips that slot into a designated area and are held in place without the use of double-sided tape, I prefer to do them off of the car as it's possible to ceramic coat the entire piece even along the tucked edges and from a more comfortable position. Depending on the conditions you're in, you may see a flashing effect where the ceramic coat develops a type of rainbow effect. If you don't see it, don't worry. You can let it sit for 5-10 to 10 minutes instead before buffing it off. And if you plan to apply a second coat, give the first coat at least an hour to cure after you buffed it off, then apply that second coat. In both cases, the buffing step should be very easy, giving your new carbon fiber piece up to five years of protection with an enhanced gloss look. Now it's time for us to go inside and make our leather seats look just as amazing, which you can check out in this video. And I'll see you in that one.